This is Cameron Price from PON number one. Uh, this is my written lesson plan for uh, this week's discussion board. Um, my topic is over how to throw a four-seam fastball in the game of baseball. And the objective uh, for the students is going to be that students will be able to accurately show the grip used to throw a four-seam fastball in the game of baseball. And starting out the lesson, the uh, set induction would go something like this uh, with me as a teacher saying, America's pastime. You love the game of baseball and are interested in pitching. Since you have never pitched, you want to learn an effective but easy to learn pitch appropriate for anyone to pitch uh, for pitchers of all ages. How can you strike out the competition? And then it would go into the actual content outline or the actual lesson, which I'm going to teach you guys today. Um, I would start by demonstrating how to grip the four seam fastball to the students by say this is the front of the classroom, I'd be standing at the front of the classroom with the baseball and showing them the proper steps. So this would actually start the teaching. So I would do my set induction like I just previously mentioned, then I'd go into the first step. So for you students, uh, the first step, you gotta have your baseball and your throwing arm. And uh, the first step on the baseball, there's a horseshoe right here around the seams. And you're actually gonna place your, this is step one, place your index finger right here on the horseshoe uh, where you got a little gap uh, between your finger and the seam. So that's going to be step one. And you want to have a, a firm grip, but not too firm. Uh, you want it kind of uh, relaxed. So if you get it too firm or squeeze, the ball will come out funny or, th or there will be too much friction when you throw the ball. Step two will be mid middle, finger, middle finger placement. Um, you're going to have step one where your finger was the first time. And then step two is to put your middle finger right above where your uh, index finger ends. And you're going to also have a gap between the two like you did your the seam and your first finger. So step two is place your middle finger with a gap between it right by your index finger and a little bit above the seam uh, of the first one. So that'd be step two. Step three is thumb placement. This is really important as it allows the ball uh, to be uh, held by your hand in an effective way. So the thumb placement, you have your uh, two fingers like that on the horseshoe, as I call it, of the ball, your index finger and your middle finger. And then the thumb is going to go under it. It's almost like under the two. If you drew a line between your thumb and under your two fingers, it'd almost make a straight line. So it's going to go to this other horseshoe of the ball, and it's going to be placed relaxedly on there. Once again, with your three fingers, you don't want to grip the ball too tight or there will be too much friction and it will mess up the uh, forcing fastball movement. Step four is actually going to be the fun part. It's the release of the baseball. So you just uh, throw it like you regularly do overhand. You don't have to try to curve it or twist your wrist or underhand it. You throw it regular overhand. And as you release, your thumb and your two fingers at the top, so your thumb and then your index and middle finger on the horseshoe uh, slip away or come off of the ball, and then that's what makes the four seam movement towards uh, home plate or the batter. So if you had the ball, again, grip correctly with your thumb and two fingers, you're releasing it, so you're going to see seam one, seam two, seam three, and seam four. And it's going to keep on spinning that way, and you see the four seams the entire time it's going to the batter or the plate, that's why it's called the four seam fastball. So combine all those steps and you'll be striking out the competition in no time. And that would be the closure for the lesson. Uh, the activity would be to divide the students into uh, groups of two or pairs as I call it. And uh, each student will take turns uh, completing the steps of gripping the four seam fastball like I mentioned. So with your uh, index finger and middle finger then your thumb. So each student uh, in the pairs is going to show each other how to do it and just take about five or ten minutes uh, within these small groups. And the assessment would be uh, remain the students in the groups of two and then the teacher is going to go around the room to visually assess the students' uh, comprehension, understanding, and mastery of the, object of the objective or the uh, lesson by having the students uh, show the teacher the four steps, which would be one, two, uh, your thumbs three and then release it's four. Uh, having each student show the teacher the four steps uh, which will show their mastery of the whole objective and how to throw a four scene fastball.
that would be the assessment part of the lesson. And then lastly, uh, the resources and materials used uh, I would use for this lesson would be a visual of different views of the forcing fastball grip. So that'd just be like an online picture from a baseball website showing uh, different views. Like you can have the direct view or under view or straight on view, uh, just different views of showing uh, how you grip it and maybe the steps one, two, three, and four of it on the uh, visual as well. And then you need a baseball, of course, your throwing arm or hand. And then you can also have, uh, if you want to find the resources from this, if you didn't find it online, a, a book or a guide over pitching in the game of baseball. And so that'd be all the resources and materials you use. So once again, this is Cameron from PON number one. And that was my uh, lesson and objective over how to throw a four-scene fastball. Thanks.